Hey, what's up everybody? Cosmo here, and on today's video, we're gonna be knocking out our Jack Daniels Glaze Spatchcock Chicken. Um, up until this point, we got the pit going outside, we spatchcocked it, and it's super simple to spatchcock. All you gotta do is just remove the backbone out of there, and I just cut down both sides and just completely remove it. Get it to this point, fold it in half, and now we're ready to put our rub on. And the rub we're gonna be using today is gonna to be the Killer Bee and the Dirty Bird Hot. I'm gonna take some of this Killer Bee and kinda of put it up under this, under that breast meat, up under the skin. Just rub that all in there. I like to get it under the skin as much as I can. And then we're just gonna put on some of our blue butter. I like to do two coats here. Open them wings up. Get it on in there, boy. And then I'm gonna come back with a coat of Killer Bee on the top. I got a, uh, it's just a non-stick mat. I really like to use these because I can just pick them up and then set them straight on the pit. Um, you can buy these on Amazon. As a matter of fact, I have an Amazon link down below with all of the stuff that we use here on Cosmos. Click on that link, go there, check out the stuff. Um, I do have to let you know that they do give me a slight kickback. I think it's like five cents for every $10 you spend, so I'm not getting rich. It's just one simple way where you guys can go and see all the stuff we use right down below. So today, this is gonna be going on our stick burner, our L-Ray. We got it running, I like to run it about 275 to 300. So we're using B&B &B charcoal briquettes with pecan logs. So we're gonna put this on the pit and we're gonna cook it completely uncovered from start to finish. Um, provided we don't get any hot spots. At a bare minimum, I may just take a piece of foil and tint it, but we're gonna start the process and end the process on the pit. So we're gonna glaze this chicken with our Jack Daniels sauce. And man, this is super easy to make. Um, simply eight ounces of competition sauce, two ounces of honey, eight ounces of maple brown sugar, two ounces of natural lemonade, and two ounces of Jack Daniels or single barrel, if that's all you got. All right, so we got the chicken off. We got it up here, it smells wonderful. Man, I love the glaze. You should just smell it. You can smell the Jack Daniels actually in it. So just to recap real quick, we pulled the bird out, cut out the backbone completely, folded it in half. That's how you spatchcock it. We rubbed it with Killer Bee under the skin, Dirty Bird Hot on top after we smeared it with a little bit of blue butter. And then we come over the top again with another coat of Killer Bee. We put it on the cooker, 275, 280, uh, smoking it with pecan logs. Um, and I know a lot of you probably got a lot of questions about the fire basket. No one sells that. I built that myself. If you want one, you're probably gonna have to build one your own or find somebody to do it for you. So after we got a temp of 165 in the thigh, we went on ahead and put our Jack Daniels glaze over there and just left it in the cooker for about a three to four minutes just to get some of that good smoke flavor absorbed in here. We got it pulled off, got it rested, got it brought up here. As you can tell, I got some crackers, I got some sausage, just kind of some staples I like to eat. This is how I actually like to eat barbecue. Um, and now we're just ready to get cut into this thing and taste it. All right, so let's go ahead and cut into this thing and try it out. I can't wait.
Oh man, that's juicy too. Well, hey, as always, thank you for watching. And as always, remember, subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss a thing. And I'll see you in the next video. Barrel right here.